Yo, what is up guys? So for today we're going to be talking about Destiny 2. Now specifically we're going to be looking at my Warlock for Season of the Hunt. And I'm going to be real with you guys, she has not been getting much love. So before we get started with the video, I have a few things to say. First and foremost, I'm going to have this video go up plus either one or two videos go up as well. Mostly because I want to have a few videos before the next season comes out just to have them there. Uh, it's one of those weird things as a youtuber that I want to do uh, but also This video particularly is not gonna be very long considering I have not put much time with my warlock I'll be showing you like each armor piece and whatnot, but I actually will not count this armor set the one I'm wearing a part of the other so if you guys are new if this is your first video I usually show you guys each my class so I've done one for my hunter and I've done one for my Titan I'll have them in the description below if you guys want to see them, but realistically, I usually play all three characters, not equally, obviously my hunter is going to see the most time, but my titan and warlock usually are equal with time. Unfortunately, this season I haven't been playing her much because I haven't been playing much at all, which means that when I'm doing raids or whatever, my hunter is usually the first one. If I'm doing it again for some reason, then my, my titan. And then if I'm doing it for third time, which is really rare now, then I'll do it on my warlock. And since I like to do everything on my hunter, my warlock really misses out. So unfortunately, this one's going to be pretty barren with, I don't even think I have mods on her. Like, a, okay, I do some. So with all that being said, so before we start with the video, I just wanted to let you guys know that a high percentage of people that watch my videos are not subscribed according to my analytics so if you could do me a favor and subscribe hit that bell notification i would very much appreciate it if you like my content if you like just me in general that would really help me out so on with the video so now that i got all that introduction out of the way let's look at my warlock now again like i said my warlock's not looking too good guys like i personally did not go because usually for the cosmetic look because this is really more of a cosmetic video for me than anything else i do think this looks cool i just think the helmet is like the weakest part of it i have been wearing the luna faction boots a lot mostly because when i am doing the raid i'm usually going for divinity because i'm a warlock but usually i'll have like uh charged with light most of, most of the time I'm, I do charged with light, I'll be doing these for like almost the whole raid and then switch to Luna Factions at the at the boss, which is literally like 90% of my my builds. But again, I I'm not, I don't even wear this. I most most of the time wear like this one and then this one. So I would be taking like taking charge. Uh, <clears throat> I don't wear this one either if I remember correctly. Again, like I said, if I had played my Warlock a lot more, then she would see a lot more time. But like I said, hopefully next season I get to play my Warlock more because it's just this season has been so bad and we got an expansion with this. Like it's pretty wild, really wild that the community is just like this, like hungry for content <clears throat> when there's like really nothing to do. So yeah, this is pretty much her her look. This is how she's been look, kind of looking this season. Again, like I said, I've been playing her so little that her look has not really been cemented in my memory because again, I've not been playing her that much. My Titan, immediately I knew how she looked because I've been playing her a lot more. Hunter, I always know how my Hunter looks. Even when I'm not playing, I already know how she he looks because I play him a fuck ton. And if I'm being completely honest, I would be wearing Sunbracers right now. Sunbracers is probably one of my favorite exotics like to use just to fuck around like when I'm doing strikes and whatnot. It's a lot of fun for me. Let's go through my stats real quick. If you were to ask me like what stats I'm looking for, mobility, I don't care. Uh, this is PvP first. So PvP, we're gonna be looking at like at least 60 resilience. I want a 60 resilience on all classes, even my hunter. I just, I feel like 60 really gives me that like ease of mind and then for recovery i do not tend to hit 100 i don't like to hit 100 on on recovery just because the difference to tier 9 and tier 10 uh recovery is just so minimal that i think i can get away with just be having nine for a discipline i'll go as high as i can most of the time 
but not at the cost of recovery or resilience and then intellect i'll stay at five to six with six being like i'm being extra mostly mostly because after you hit five if i remember correctly you get dim diminishing returns don't get me wrong like you can get like up to like some stupid numbers but for me i i don't really tend to cl crutch on my super i like to actually use my gun and my abilities and then for strength i'll go as high as i can specifically if i'm wearing sun bracers i'll go as high as i can because if you guys don't know sun bracers when you hit something with your melee you get infinite grenades so essentially if you're wearing sun bracers you can just ignore the discipline because you can just get your grenade back with a fucking melee kill that's for pvp for pve it's pretty much the same aside from resilience resilience i do not care where that's at because you don't really see you don't really feel it for pve recovery i'll tend to go at 100 just because why not grenade i'll have it as high as i can uh, strength i'll have it as high as i can and again intellect i really don't care considering we have a lot of builds that just can give us our super back really fast so that's really it obviously i've been using like i haven't been using shade binder that much just because i feel like it's such a slow class so obviously i'll be i'll be using like top tree this one I've been using Void a bit. I like Void. I've always loved Void. So, but I think the Shade Binder is just too slow for me to really like it, especially when I have the Stasis Staff. It's just, oh my god. Or not the Stasis Staff. What's it called? The Super? Whatever it's called. I It's just too slow for me. But that's pretty much it. I obviously don't have any weapons for her because I don't play her that much. And when I do, I don't. I really don't play her that much. But just because the season's been really bad, this expansion's been really bad. Uh, aside from like the raid race which was fire other than that the the, the game just like really knows that i've done that for me but yeah let me know warlocks what you guys think about my warlock i i apologize that i've not put much time into her she looks bad i know she looks bad that's why she won't count towards the um, the rule that i have usually which is uh if you guys don't know if this is your first video of this each i do a video for each of the classes so i have one for my hunter and my titan i'll have them in the description below and in the comments if you guys want to see them but essentially i show you the build that i'm using and the weapons i'm using usually the weapons tend to go for my hunter first because my hunter is using everything that i use most of the time and then if my titan has something that i don't use for my my hunter like let's say the titan has something that has swashbuckler instead because my titan has a lot of swashbuckling weapons then i'll definitely show you guys but again this my warlock has nothing new aside from like this commemoration which has no distraction and rampage which ultimately i'm not a big fan of it's considering why would i need no distractions on a machine gun uh i have a trusty my my god roll because it has killing wind but Killing Wind on a Scout Rifle is probably not the best choice, but I do like Killing Wind a lot. Summoner, which is, I have Summoner on all three characters, I think. And then Heritage, which is, this was a really fun gun for me to get. And then just random guns here and there. But like I said, I do, I do these for all of them. And unfortunately, I just did not play enough for me to actually submit a look for my Warlock. I always do it in each, in each uh, video. My Hunter has a unique look for this season and every season, aside from like three seasons, I think, that I use the same cloak. My Titan, it's act she's actually the most unique. I've not used anything back to back, if I remember correctly. So I like to challenge myself with the cosmetic of the game where I try to make my my class as unique as I can from other seasons that I've played. So yeah, if you guys like this type of videos, let me know in the comments below. Let me know what you guys are looking forward to in Destiny 2. I know the new uh, season's coming out tomorrow, but I might be making more videos on how to improve Destiny 2 because we'll talk about that later. So I will see you guys later.